Welcome to Morpheus Chair. What you just saw there was Ignisbot, the robot based on NVIDIA Jetson Nano card, which is designed for deep learning. So first thing is, why did we build it? And why do you have to build it? Why NVIDIA Jetson Nano? Why not Raspberry Pi? Or why not a Nook or some small computer? So. There are three main reasons why you want to use NVIDIA Jetson Nano and also why you need to learn how to use it. The first reason is because it's designed by NVIDIA. This means that it has support for CUDA. What can I get from CUDA? Well, deep learning really, really fast. That's what you're getting. And that means in robotics that instead of taking half a second or a second or six seconds to process an image and get something like uh, is there a ball there it's is there a person there six seconds now you're doing it so fast that seems real time so that's the first reason why you need jetson nano made by nvidia the second reason is because it's affordable and very small so it's relatively cheap for what you get and it's really small it is the the size of a raspberry pi so you can put it in all the robots that you can you can imagine and the third reason is because it's a growing community around nvidia jetson nano as the community of ross uh, communities for robotics are essential are vital for us because you, d you can't reinvent the wheel each time. So having a community of people that post code that you can get it and use it in your own project and then give it back to the community, it's a no brainer. It's a game changer. So having a community that it's growing in, around Nvidia Jetson Nano as, it, as there is in Raspberry Pi, it's really, really important. For what did we use NVIDIA Jetson Nano? So in our case, what we wanted to do in this new project was to create a, a robot dog. So some kind of pet that reacts to people. And uh, the most important feature that we saw that we needed to make the most simplest robot dog that we could possibly do without being something stupid was it it had to be able to track people it had to be able to look around see a person and react to that person so follow them get closer be able to follow them and also and most important is give them the feedback at the precise moment this is really important because um, when you when you see a dog or a pet it reacts instantly to you and that is giving you a feedback that it's giving it's seeing you so we had to build that and for that we're using nvidia jetson nano to do people tracking so fast that in practical terms it's real time so to build this uh, robot dog which we called ignisbot we had to do the following things we had to work on 
the hardware, we had to work on a simulation, and we also had to work on the integration of the software and a real live test like you saw there. So a real person moving around and seeing how it reacted. So the first part, hardware, we based the, the main idea in JetBot, which is a project made by NVIDIA, which is a two-wheeled robot, and they made it in a way that it's really easy to have things set up. Then we based the, the basic elements of electronics and so on in a JetBot kit, which was, ba uh, which was made by Waveshare, which is a renowned uh, electronics for Wattex kids and so on producer. We really love their work, so it was a no-brainer to choose them. And finally, what we did is once we had that, we had to adapt it and create loads of stuff. So we had this robot pet called Ignisbot. We had to design all the chassis so all the electronics was protected. We wanted Ignisbot to feel like a product. We, we wanted it to feel robust, that you don't, you're not scared of handling around and taking it to, I don't know, where to, to holidays or take it in the train or to an exposition or to the university, so something robust. So then we generated this chassis. So another feature that we added was servos. So we created the, the server mounts and we created the tail and also the mount for the, the camera pan so that the camera can pan up and down. And also we integrated the, the servo driver from Waveshare also. And that made Ignisbot the perfect platform for, for robotics because you can now integrate more servos for your own applications. For example, you want to put a robot hand you can put it there, just modifying the chassis a bit and that's it. And all the chassis parts, everything is 3D printed so you can print it yourself in a cheap way. All the chassis and servo mounts and everything, 3D files, are in an on-shape uh, project. So I leave the link in the video description so you can access the, the assembly, the whole assembly of the robot. Then the, P, the, the software. So essentially the cornerstone of all this project is the people tracker. I leave in the video description the, the original git where you can download the code. Uh, and that may, gave us the ability to track people, to detect people and to see how far away they were. So perfect software for us. Obviously, we needed to test this a lot, especially the people tracker part and, and the people following because we created this people following software that uses the people tracker. And for that, we created the simulation that has two different persons, one that it's really realistic and another one that has uh, like a human figure. And we saw that it's able to track both, but because the human figure basic human figure doesn't have eyes, it, it doesn't react because we programmed the follow person to react to the eyes. So if it doesn't see the eyes, it doesn't wag the tail. While uh, on the other person that it's realistic and has the eyes, it wags the tail. So it works perfectly and allows us, allowed us to test all the follow person algorithm and the search patterns so that it, it worked the best of our ability. To create the simulation, I highly recommend you to do the URDF course in Robotic Night Academy. It helped me a lot to clear up things, to know how to use chakras and this kind of stuff. So I leave a link in the video description so that you can do the course. It really helped me a lot. And finally, we had to do the real test. So as you can see here, uh, the robot is able to not only detect the person when it comes into view, but also go to that person and react when that person is looking at it. When I'm looking at Ignisbot, what, what it does is it gives me a feedback, which is wag the tail. And not only that, but if I get closer, then it wags the tail faster. 
and that is giving me a feedback all the time which makes it much more realistic and much more lifelike so it's able to track my head my eyes moving up and down the pan uh, camera pan and it's able to track my movement sideways moving the wheels it's able to track a person without any problems whatsoever and because it's using Nvidia Jetson Nano it's fast enough so that it seems like it's reacting in real time to it so if you want to know how to build Ignis bot step by step I highly recommend you that you enroll to the course right now in Robot Ignite Academy there everything is explained from the hardware how to assemble it how to set up the operating system how to set up ROS how to create your own follow person using the people tracker and also some extra stuff in the course you will also find two options for the hardware you will ha uh, find the light version which is a list of all the hardware that you need to buy to assemble it yourself but also you will find the pro version which is all the package all the hardware all the software already set up so that you can start learning about deep learning about nvidia jetson nano like that so both options will be available in the course so link in the description so see you in the course until then keep building Yeah, not quite there yet. Yeah.